everyone. Welcome to Larry's Model Shop. And I'm Larry, <laughs> your intrepid host. Um, yeah, I've been uh, AWOL for a little while here. Um, nothing has been working out very much on the bench, although I'm going to do a bench update. Um, 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 let's see. Where to start? So, I have currently got three, one, two, one, two, three, four. No, three. I currently have three kits in the works that I'm working on at the same time. Um, the problem and the reason they're being held up is because of the weather. And we just got snow again last night. So that's kind of screwing things up for me. So uh, painting is not an option right now because it's just too cold. I can't even warm the garage up enough to get paint put down because it's so cold outside. Uh, I think today we might hit 30 as a high, which is not good. <laughs> and like I said, it snowed last night. So we have snow on the ground. So three kits in the works. What do I do? I start a new kit. So I started this tank that I got from uh, Vinny. And it has, uh, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Luckily, this kit is actually, I guess I, I could say, um, beginner friendly, except for the tracks. So I've been working on it for eh, four days or so, a little bit here, a little bit there. And I'll show you where I've gotten so far. So, so far, we have gotten this far on the kit. Uh, it's a really cool kit. There's no interior, so that, that's why it's user-friendly user or build, beginner-builder-friendly. Um, where do I start with this thing? So a lot of the parts that I have on here right now aren't glued like the wheels. These wheels are not glued on because they have to be painted. Um, again, there we go with the paint. But any, I, I digress. Anyway, so there is some PE, a few pieces of PE on the kit, which is not bad. I just had to get it bent. Um, there's not a lot of parts for for the kit. However, with that being said, the tr oh, there goes the barrel. The tracks, these tracks are absolutely insane. This amount of track is one of these sprues. And there are two, four, six sprues to make one track for the one side of the tank. Uh, I've been told by someone that the Tamiya tanks have a rubber track, which is one piece, so it just stretches over. It's a lot simpler. But I guess what this allows you to do is build the track so that, you know, you get the, the on the top of the wheels, these these wheels here, you can get the track to kind of droop between the the, the track the wheels, and where the bottom of the track will be straighter because it's on the ground. That's my guess. Anyway, um, so as far as the, the tank is concerned, the majority of it is built already here. I have to complete the tracks, and then. Um, paint it. I gotta prime it, paint it before I can finish completion. Uh, there's still some more body parts that have to be put on. Uh, there's only two colors primarily for the body or for the for the tank. Um, a dark green and a black. And then detail painting and if I want to weather it. I don't know if I'm going to be weathering it. I'm 
like I said, first tank, uh, simple build is what I will probably end up doing. Uh, let's see. My wife thinks it's hilarious that so far I've had one of these guys go poing and it took me about, oh, that one took me about five minutes to find. And then I had this handle here do the same thing. It snapped out of my, my tweezers. And that one took me about 10 minutes to find. And this piece right here, this was the first one that went poing. Uh, and that one took me almost 45 minutes to find it. I mean, it is small. And I got lucky because I ran my, it landed on my, my plastic mat on the carpet. And as I was rubbing my hand across the mat, I flipped my hand over and it was actually stuck to my finger. So I think the static from running my hand over the mat grabbed the plastic and picked it up on my hand. I got lucky there. Um, there are some very, very small parts. Uh, this is a gun barrel for a machine gun. And I actually dropped, there's two of them. One is, one is glued on right here, right, right there. And I actually, I think it, the first one, I actually dropped it, but it was, it landed on my, my pants. So, and I was wearing dark colored pants. So I was able to find that real quick. <sighs> but I'm having fun with this. This is cool. This is neat. I, I like this. And once I figure out um, the painting of it and stuff, I might try another one and, and do some weathering, watch some other videos. There are some awesome tank builders on YouTube. It's just insane how, how well they can build these tanks. Um, so the steps of building the tank, there aren't very many left. Uh, with this tank, there's a, a steel barrel, or a, not steel, it's aluminum, but a, a metal barrel as well as a plastic barrel for the main gun. So I haven't decided which one I want to go with yet. That's why that's not glued on. Um, but other than that, uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you for um, all the subscribers hanging on, sticking out, sticking around with me. Like I said, you know, it's winter time here. I didn't pre-paint very much. Uh, what I did pre-paint has been built already. So this coming summer, I intend to do a lot more pre-painting so that I can have kits to build during the winter time. The, um, the spraying in the house, the, it just, the room that I'm in is just too small. It doesn't vent very well, even though I've got a good good um, spray booth um, it just doesn't vacuum out all of the smell in the room so I can't I learn the hard way can't do it <laughs> so I will pre-paint bodies and stuff uh, during the summertime but with that being said I hope everybody has a great rest of the week uh, take care of each other be kind and I will talk to you in the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.